story of sound in motion pictures is one of continual research and improvement. The recording of sound in motion pictures requires many technicians. Tool number one, chat GPT. I get it, it's overdone. I promise these tools get more interesting, but I would be remiss to not include this because it is still probably the most useful tool that we have in our arsenal as YouTubers. I made a whole video about this, so I'm not gonna dive into a ton of detail. So go check that out. There's 10 awesome prompts that will help you come up with video titles, descriptions, and do some tech and SEO things that are going to be really helpful for your channel. Let's move on to a tool that I just started using, and honestly, I'm embarrassed. I had been using TubeBuddy for a long time, but I finally made the switch over to VidIQ, and I cannot believe I waited so long. It is head over heels better than TubeBuddy. Right now it has some AI features that are just insanely cool. It's a tool that's aimed to help you improve your channel in a bunch of different ways. Think of it as a Swiss army knife for YouTube improvement. It does things like providing daily ideas for videos and helping you optimize your titles. They even added a new feature called the AI coach that lets you ask any questions related to your videos or channel, anything that you want, and it gives you a pretty good answer that's powered by GPT 3.5 and hopefully GPT 4 soon. It's a web app, mobile app, and a Google Chrome extension. Really can't recommend it enough. Definitely go check it out. And as you scale, it's a tool that you absolutely want to bring into your arsenal as a YouTuber. Next, NVIDIA or Pictory AI. I'm lumping these together because they have the same feature, although NVIDIA offers more functionality overall. Pictory AI and NVIDIA both allow you to repurpose blog posts into videos. This is so cool, especially if you're someone like me who's a blogger first and then a YouTuber. I have so many different blog posts that I can easily convert into videos. Now it's not perfect and there's still a lot of work that you need to do, but what I'm able to do is something like paste the URL of an existing blog post and it's gonna spit out a script and it's gonna fill it with a bunch of stock videos. I can obviously edit this as much as I want. These are not very good if you really are serious about high quality videos, but if you're doing something that's basic like a faceless YouTube channel and you just need some really simple stock videos, you can do pretty well with this. Also, you can just use it as a starting point and then edit it later as you go. You can replace clips, you can change the videos, you can change the text. It's very cool and in video and Pictory AI both do that. And if you're going the faceless route, you can also add voiceovers. So you can turn the text into spoken word and the voices are okay, they're not terrible. They will definitely get the job done. So you can do a full faceless YouTube channel using NVIDIA or Pictory AI. Next, Moobert or SoundRaw. Both of these are AI powered audio generating tools that help you create sound effects and background music. This video has background music that was created by Moobert. It's a really cool feature that gives you royalty free music that you can add to your backgrounds or whatever you're doing. If you're doing like ASMR videos or motivational videos, you can create audio and put it in there. Both of these are pretty affordable, definitely worth checking out. Next, Gen 1. Now this one's still in beta. I don't have access to it, but I cannot wait because I've already used Runway ML and those tools are amazing. More on those in just a second. But this looks like such a cool tool that I cannot wait to get my hands on. It allows you to basically do what Midjourney does with images, but instead of just image outputs, it actually outputs video. The videos aren't gonna be great right out of the gate, but this is gonna be the future. I don't think anyone's ever gonna pay for B-roll again once this gets really going. There's gonna be people that harness us that are able to create things that we just simply could not before without knowing how to do CGI or having a big team of people. There is going to be some amazing new content created because of tools like Gen 1. I cannot wait to hop on it myself. Next, PlayHT or Descript. These are tools that allow you to create overdubs or deep fake audio so you can replace your voice so I can record myself and then if I make a mistake, I can type the words that I want it to say and it will say them in my voice. All right, let's say that I'm recording a video and I say something incorrect. Let's say that I want people to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but I accidentally say subscribe on Patreon. I could say, go ahead and be sure to subscribe on Patreon and I will see you in the next video. What I can do is I can go back and actually change Patreon to YouTube and it's gonna use my actual voice. So let me show you. I could say, go ahead and be sure to subscribe on Patreon and I will see you in the next video. Click on that, click overdub, sign voice, Nate. Put YouTube. I could say, go ahead and be sure to subscribe on YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Also, they have great avatars you can use for voiceovers. Like I had mentioned before with Pictory, they have that, but these tools are specialized and they're better. So you can do a lot of stuff. 
Next we have Runway ML. This is another one of those Swiss Army Knife type programs. It has a ton of different functionality. I don't use the editor. I believe it started out as mostly just a video editing tool, but I use the AI magic tools more than anything, and there are a lot of them. I believe there's about 30. Right now I use these eight the most. The remove background, text to image, image to image, expand image, erase and replace, remove silence, upscale images, and then train a portrait generator. Let me show you the train a portrait generator. You know when everybody had those profile pictures uh, that were AI generated at the beginning of the year? A lot of them work on something like this. So, so you can upload about 15 to 30 pictures of yourself or, or anyone else and then train it. it costs 10 bucks. Uh, but once you do that, you will get outputs like this. Let me show you mine. Some of them are great, some of them are terrible. Like, let's check one out. Pretty good. They really did me on the wrinkles though, didn't they? But then some of them are terrible. Like, this is terrifying with the teeth. Teeth aren't amazing, but they're not that. You'll notice this is the one that I actually am using now as my profile. It's pretty fun. But a couple of friends pointed out that this only had one string, so I had to edit that. So let me show you how I did that, actually, now that we're here. Go ahead and download that. Go back here to one of these AI magic tools. Let's do erase and replace. Let's upload that. Let's go ahead and just select right here. So I can do that or I can just remove that. But what I'm gonna do is put add another string. This hoodie. Let's go. So I don't like how long those are. Go ahead and reset. So I just want to get rid of all of them. There, I'll just put remove. Sick. But there's so much you can do with this. Definitely go check it out, play around with it. There's a lot of features that I don't use that you might like blur faces. You can automatically detect faces and have them blurred out if you're somebody who creates videos that have a lot of people that haven't consented to be in the video, stuff like that. Uh, scene detection, bokeh backgrounds, uh, extract depth, clean audio, generate transcripts. Super, super powerful. And for all it offers, it's relatively inexpensive. Go check that out, runwayml.com. Next, clipmaker.ai. This one's not gonna help you create YouTube videos, but it is gonna help you promote them and grow your other video channels. What it does is it takes your YouTube videos and it breaks them down into short form video and then actually publishes them to TikTok and Instagram for you. Really cool, not necessary, but a nice little touch, especially for people who already have an established channel and want to just grow on other platforms. Next, Midjourney. Midjourney is a text to image program. It allows you to create really cool images using just text prompts. You can use the images that you create in your videos or as thumbnails. I'm using them a lot as thumbnails. You put them in your videos, you can give them just a little bit of motion. Right now it is just images, but there's going to be a lot of really cool AI text to video stuff coming and I imagine Midjourney is gonna be on that uh, very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Next, addcontext.xyz. You don't see a lot of XYZ domains. This allows you to actually create a chatbot out of your own YouTube playlists or playlists from other people. There's a couple of case uses for this. We use it for a private membership group that we have. We recorded all of our VIP videos and uploaded them so people can ask it questions. What's really cool is that when somebody searches something, if it has an answer, it also gives references. So it shows exactly on what video and at what time the answer was given. One awesome case use for this that's not YouTube related would be customer support. If you have a business and you have different customer support reps, and a lot of your questions have been answered in videos, you could actually have them search those videos whenever they have a customer question and they can get an answer and also have the exact URL and timestamp to send someone to. So it could be like, here's how Nate answered this right here on his YouTube video. Next, DID.com. This one's upsetting. Let me show you a video real quick. I can't really express how much this tool upsets me. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I've woken up in a Black Mirror episode. Also, I think that using these right now is pretty corny. If you have these as like your customer support or your onboarding tutorials, it just feels weird right now. However, this technology is going to get better and better and it's gonna have a place. You should definitely at the very least know about it. So check this out at d-id.com. If nothing else, it is very impressive and powerful. Next, getyarn.io. This is a search engine for video clips. Just type in a keyword and it's gonna provide a whole bunch of different options that you can use. 
you can download them and use them in your YouTube videos. All right, guys, that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching. Links to every tool that I just showed you will be down in the description. If you like this video, like it for me. That would help me out a lot. I don't know what you like unless you tell me what you like. I need to know what to keep making or to stop making. Until next time, see ya.